all right guys so I am back here to show you guys my discoid roaches I never made a video of these guys because I was kind of struggling at first to breed, breed them so I'm gonna show you a maintenance video of everything I do and how much work I have haven't have neglected these guys a lot of a lot of maintenance that I need to do and I have neglected them for a while at first when I first got them from my brother I didn't I had trouble raising them because they kept dying on me for some reason which I didn't think of they just kept dying and dying and they were really they were really going really well at first but then when I took over they started dying and I could, couldn't figure out why or what was happening until I guess one day, I don't know why, I didn't think of it. I thought to check the heater and it turns out the heater did not work anymore. So that's why I had a whole bunch of these guys dying. But now they're all doing alright. Some of them are beat up. But they look like this. They're discoid roaches. Their scientific name is Blabberus discoidalis. Let me just show you some some cleaning that I need to do on these guys because I haven't done that in a while and then I'll go over everything I started using for them I usually feed them vegetables but I, I just got back from the expo and actually bought some dubia diet from this company called Lugarti Lugardi, whatever now their business card right here it's pretty cool you guys can check that out they're pretty cool the guy was really cool gave us details of it and everything they use it's supposed to be really good for the for the roaches it's made for dubias but i use it for uh, all these guys but yeah the reptile expo was pretty cool this week just got back like sunday night i spent saturday and sunday there looked at everything all the their reptiles i was thinking about getting a savannah too but i don't know i've been wanting one but i need to need space i don't have the space for it so i didn't get one they're really cheap there they're like 30 dollars 35 so i was so tempted to get one i only have a beauty right now though but yeah maybe in the future i'll get a a savannah monitor if you guys can see that they're all running around like crazy because they're super super sensitive they're really shy a lot of times they'll flip over like this and they can't really get back they struggle for a bit so yeah this is something I've, ne I've neglected them for a while so it's very very necessary but I've gotten them back up to speed now I have actually sold some of these guys too, so hasn't been too bad. I need to sell more often too. After all this maintenance, uh, hopefully everything goes back to how it was. These guys keep reproducing, and my dubias too, because I sold all my dubias. I have like three. I have three of these things full of dubias and I ended up selling them all so I'm breeding those to get back up again hopefully everything goes well but anyways so this is the maintenance as you guys can see all the stuff I have left that I have not cleaned up for these guys because I've been so freaking lazy these guys keep freaking out let me put them back Put you back. All the little guys trying to get away. I'll let them run out a bit. 
Throw them all in the trash bin. There's a bunch of little ones in there. But anyway, let me show you guys. This is the the Guardi Dubia die, which I bought at the Reptile Expo in San Diego this weekend. It's pretty cool. They reacted really well to it, so I'm hoping for the best. I'll let you guys know how everything goes and see how they're doing. Make another video later. And this is their water, what's it called? Insect dew drops. They're supposed to be better than the than the regular crystals. They seem pretty good. They drink them up really fast. There was a lot. This thing was full. And this is one night. But they're really the only thing that's kind of annoying, it's really bouncy. So they bounce around, so if you're not careful, you'll lose them all. See? It's kind of annoying sometimes, but it's kind of cool too. And anyways, let's get this get out the get out the way, you at the end I'll show you guys the the containers of the the garden stuff that I bought. It's really really cool. I also bought a ton of egg crates at the expo. I bought like 40 of them just to stock up. They were kind of cheap, 30. They're like three for a dollar. So I bought a ton of them. Let's see what else? No wipe down. Their enclosure a bit because you see they dirty it up. The dubious don't really do this. It's just these guys. They dirty, dirty up the sides for some reason. If you guys know why or any tips, comment at the bottom. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Just wiping it down with water. Kind of stuck, but it's coming off. Oh, for these things, they come like this already in in the little jar that they sell you, so you don't have to hydrate. They already come hydrated, but they didn't last. It doesn't they didn't last me that long. Last night I did a little bit of maintenance on these guys and my, all my other bugs, and I filled them up, and I ended up using this whole little jar that they sell about I don't know eight ounces something like that it's a little jar they only sell in a little small jar right now they said they might sell it in bigger quantities so it, it didn't really have much and I finished it all in one one serving for the bucks since I have a lot Wipe this down a bit. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you guys think. I'll probably be posting up more videos to these guys soon. And that way, you guys can feel free to let me know what you think. Alright, guys, so this is the stuff I was telling you. It's called Insect Dew Drops by this company Lagardi. sure you guys have heard of them they were usually at all the expos and this is the one where they come in with their little the hydrated crystals it's pretty cool bouncy crystals and this is the big old can of dubia dye that I bought from them this thing was $60 at the expo I believe it's $64.99 at the show but it was really cool really cool the guy gave, like they were selling it for $60, so a couple of dollars of savings. And this was $4.99, I believe. But yeah, this is the stuff I bought at the expo. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys.